Yo, what's going on everybody? My name's Dr. P, of course, and welcome back today for another video. Now today, guys, I want to talk about the mysterious floating rune that is going around the map. It literally spawned as I uploaded my video yesterday, so literally five minutes after I uploaded, this stuff came out, so I was kind of upset with myself, I didn't wait a little longer, and that's why I waited a little longer today to make sure I got all the facts right, so you know you're getting all the most accurate information in this video. Huge shout out to everyone using my support a creator code, you're all legends, and shout out especially to the guys on screen. If you want to get a shout out in a future video, just use my code and send me a screenshot over on Twitter. Alright, so let's just get down to brass tacks. There has been a mysterious rune that formed almost in the exact location the cube did. So, I'm starting to kind of get this sense that the cube is still having a strong influence this season, even though it's dead and gone now. Rip Kevin. Check out this map, courtesy of Fortnite News over on Twitter. They lay out the path of the cube. You can see it spawned in the desert, went around the map until it winded up at Loot Lake. That process took an unbelievably long time, like we're talking months for to finally complete what it was doing. But this rune, on the other hand, is actually moving very quick. Players are actually able to speed it up by hitting it. More on that later. Now look at the same graphic and focus on the path of the rune. This is so far. You can see it spawned unbelievably close to that exact same hill the cube did, and it's moving in a similar fashion, and we know it's going to wind up at Loot Lake. Seems like the cube, aka Kevin, as well as this rune, which for all we know could still be a part of Kevin. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, Kevin Kevin printed runes when he was rolling around the map back in Season 5, and these things, which we're calling them runes, are doing the same thing, and they're following a similar track, and they're going to the same place. I really don't think that's a coincidence. Anyway, let's get you some gameplay of this rune in action. Now, I actually captured this footage when it was just outside of Shifty Shafts. It's moving pretty quickly, so by the time you're watching this, it could be somewhere else. This has got to be the fastest anything has ever moved like this in the game. Notice the health bar. It's going down rapidly. It's like 600 million health, and every time it gets to zero, it moves a little bit and launches any player standing on or near it very high into the air. All players hitting the rune at any point will contribute to the health going down. All servers are synced up, so you can see the health is moving down fast because there are so many people hitting it and trying to speed it up. I mean, realistically, I don't know how long it's going to take to get to Loot Lake because it's not on a timed interval like the cube was. It's just moving whenever it gets to zero health, so as long as players are still continuing to hit it, it's going to move pretty quickly, and I mean, as you can see, the health is going down so fast, I imagine there are literally so many different people just hitting this repeatedly. This is such a massive, wide-scale thing that's going on between all servers to the point where people are constantly trying to get this thing to move and manually speed up the storyline. I've even seen so many different people on Twitter claiming the health for the rune is just an astronomically high number. It's gone back and forth between 600, 100, and I've even seen 1.3 billion. Like, wow, I feel like the community is going so fast that Epic might be trying to slow down the process. Obviously, they have a date in mind, a target date in mind, of when they would like all this stuff to be completed in Loot Lake. But if the community is just literally rallying the troops and going as fast as they can, that might dig into their timeline a little bit and mess them up. So maybe they will continue to add health to the rune to make it so it doesn't go as fast as they think it could go. Because let's be honest, if the community puts their mind to something, we could get that thing done in a couple days. I've got a very important question. If you can, I would love for you to answer in the comments section. When you go in-game, you go to this rune, what is the max health you've seen? Because I've seen 100 million, I've seen 600 million, that's what it is for me, and then I have seen numbers above a billion, which seems really, really strange. So, I'm just trying to get an idea of what everyone's seeing. There's a chance it could have been a bug, I'm not ruling that out, but I'm still curious. So you might be asking yourself, Dr. P, how do we know the rune is going to Loot Lake? It seems like you might be guessing, and, well, if you go and check out the Loot Lake dig site in the middle of the lake, you can clearly see there is a corresponding hieroglyph here that looks almost exactly the same. In fact, 
the same as the symbol on the rune right now. Not to mention it's got the exact fitting piece for this spot. As you can see, there's a little carved out part that goes in. It's kind of like a pentagon shape almost, but based on the shape and based on the symbol, the rune and the spot are showing, it's very clear what's happening here. Here's where it gets interesting. You notice that there is not only one, but there are five different spots a rune could land in. And I'm assuming after this rune gets to Loot Lake, puts itself in this spot, there will be another one that forms somewhere and we'll do the same thing it's doing now. We'll have to hit it and move it to Loot Lake so it can be placed in the correct spot. So naturally, the question is asked, what is going to be inside of this thing? It seems to me like it might be, you know, five keys that you need to get in, each one of these keys obviously being a rune. When all five of them get placed into the ground, it could open up the door and finally reveal what's inside. Now, based on everything I said in yesterday's video, there's a very strong chance that it's actually a portal of some kind or some kind of teleportation method. The more I sit here and the more I think about it, it makes perfect perfect sense for Kevin to come back in some way. I mean, this is basically the second coming of Kevin, you know, it's just going around the map. Granted, it's not random, we can move it by hitting it, but the concept is the same, a random object moving around the map. Some of the similarities between the rune and Kevin are really shocking, I mean, namely the spawn point, the cube spawn in the desert, the rune spawn just a couple feet west of that. I'll be curious to see what the other runes do and where they spawn, because if they continue to spawn in the same spot, I think we'd really be onto something at that point. Season 8 storyline for the longest time was pretty confusing, but now we're starting to get some stuff where we can get some concrete information and piece it together. We know the government came here because they were looking for something on the map in terms of treasure. They sent Harry the helicopter to look around the map and see where the best digging sites would be. After a while, a dig site came up near Paradise Palm, then another in the middle of the Dusty Divot, and finally we have the one we have now in Loot Lake. Obviously, the one in Loot Lake had a big discovery because of the bunker that was there, and they knew they needed to keep digging. From there, they sent in a whole bunch of team members and crew workers to go and dig out the middle of Loot Lake until they they uncovered what we see now in the middle. This is almost certainly setting us up for a big in-game event. The last one we had that really mattered was the butterfly event, and coincidentally enough, that happened in the exact same spot as we are right now, in the middle of Loot Lake. I just think so much of this makes sense in terms of relating it to Kevin the Cube. All that talk we've had over the past couple months about him returning could be leading up to it once and for all. Personally, one of the biggest mysteries in Fortnite right now for me is still from season six. What was that cube event? Why did Kevin explode? Where is the in-between? So many questions that we still don't even know from season four, but honestly, the season six mystery from the cube event is still what baffles me. And since this event is bound to be pretty similar to that in terms of what's going on and where it's happening, I hope maybe we could get some answers and, you know, kind of clear up some storyline roles a good bit. To be honest with you, Epic doesn't really come out and say anything. It's usually just up to interpretation for the most part. I mean, Think about it. Who was the visitor? Can you honestly tell me you know for sure? It's been four plus seasons and we still don't know for sure. And that's something I would like to know. That was like the first big event, the rocket launch with the visitor. We have theories and we probably can get pretty close, but me being the theory guy I am, I have covered this game's storyline for well over a year at this point. I just want to know. I'm genuinely curious, but that's a little off topic. Guys, let me know what you think is going to be happening in Loot Lake with this rune. We're going to be expecting four more to spawn at some point. If you guys notice it, I'm not sure when it's going to happen, but let me know on Twitter. I had a lot of you guys tweeting me and letting me know about this rune that spawns today. Very, very appreciative of that. I was actually away from home a good bit, so I was able to read up on it, learn what was going on, and then get back here and grind out this video and give you guys the best information and the most accurate information too. There's no way I could have known what to say if I made a video the second that rune spawned because I wouldn't have known that it moves when you get to zero health, I wouldn't have known that it flings you, and we wouldn't have the information about the trajectory of where it's going. We wouldn't know if it's taking a similar path or not. So in general, just a lot better if I wait in a situation like this. I hope you guys can understand. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe for daily Fortnite content covering the very latest in the storyline. And until next time, guys, I'll see you later.